If you ever started a fitness routine or a gym regime or diet and only to quit after a little while to be frustrated because you're overwhelmed by all the information out there, well this video is going to make things easier for you. Hey there, Coach Farhad here from TFF Fitness and Fit with Farhad. In today's video, I want to share with you a simple formula that will help you understand what's the best process for you to achieve your fitness goals with your diet, with your training, with everything, despite all the overwhelming information you're going to be receiving throughout your journey. Now, it's very, very apparent that there's a lot of different opinions, there's a lot of difference of advice coming your way when it comes to training, when it comes to dieting, when it comes to all aspects of the fitness journey. You've got people saying you've got to do it with keto, you've got to do it with carbs, you've got to do it with this diet, with that training program, you know, do HIIT training, do weights, do blah 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 blah. And the biggest mistake I think people make in the beginning when they don't know what they're doing is they start looking outside to see what others are doing. And this is a mistake I made in the beginning as well. Like I wanted so badly to achieve a level of success that I had aspired to when it comes to fitness. That what I did back in the early days, and this is before Google, like this is how far back I, my fitness journey started. I had to like look at magazines like Muscle and Fitness and things like that. And I started like ripping up the pro workout programs of pros, taking it to the gym with me and then trying their programs. And it was really, really tough and I wasn't getting results. I was following their diets and it was really, really hard for me to follow these diets because they were like perfect. And this is what I want to talk to you about. See, there are two levels that you need to understand. And when you understand this formula and these two levels, you'll be able to do the best you can, which will then give you much more simplicity in making decisions, ultimately allowing you to have higher chances of success in achieving your goals and not giving up so quickly. And what are those two things and the formula? Well, the two things are you've got optimal and then you've got attainable. And the formula literally is what is optimal, what's attainable, and what balance can you bring to the table? In other words, it might be optimal to train four times a week for a certain goal. Now, I'm just speaking hypothetically here. Don't quote me on this. And it might be optimal to eat a certain diet. You might be, it might be optimal to get a certain amount of protein a day. You might be optimal to get eight hours of sleep every night. But that might stress you out because you just can't do it. And there's so much overwhelm around people saying, you have to do it this way, you have to do it that way. You know, you've got to eat this food, you've got to train this way, and if you can't do it, you're gonna fail. And you start thinking, oh my God, I just can't do this. And then what happens? You give up because the mind does not like Difficulty it does not like things that are too hard and doesn't like frustration, so rather gives up. Well, what you've got to do is you've got to balance what's optimal and what's achievable and attainable by you. In other words, let's say eating steak for breakfast every day is optimal. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you might not like what I had to say there, but if you're a meat eater, hey, you're going to love that. Anyway, it might be optimal to eat steak every single day. Uh, you might not have the time to cook the steak every single day, steak might be expensive for you every day, or you, like I said, you might be vegan or vegetarian, you can't eat steak every day, or you can't eat steak at all. So what do you do? Well, you find what's the best you can do, i.e. what's achievable and attainable for you, and do that. So find what's optimal, but don't get stressed out about it. Do the best you can, find what's attainable for you, and you'll have much more motivation to carry on and much more impetus to go throughout this whole journey. And as you get better, as you find it's easier, as you create those habits and routines to help, that, that help you move towards your goal, you can then fine tune it so that it's a little bit more optimal every single time. You don't have to go for optimal from day one. It's a big mistake that a lot of people make. It's a big mistake I made in the beginning, and it just led to loads and loads of frustration. And it even led to you know, me being just completely socially reclusive because I didn't want to go out, because I didn't want to break my diet. I didn't have a cheat meal for like three years or four years or something stupid like that. And 
yeah, it just made me miserable. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to be frustrated. I don't want you to be miserable. I want to help you achieve your goals in the fastest and safest way possible, but also have fun whilst you're doing it. You know, you're, you're going to enjoy time with your family. You're going to enjoy time with the kids. You're going to enjoy time with your friends. You've got to socialize. You've got to go out for business lunches and things like that. And I'm not saying, I'm not giving you a free pass here to eat whatever you want and do whatever you want. That's not what I'm saying. But you know, there are going to be times when you cannot stick to your plan 100% and then you've got to find a balance between optimal and attainable. So hopefully this has given you some idea of what you can do to make things a little bit more simple for you, to give you that little bit of a push so that you don't keep quitting on your dreams and on your fitness goals and on the results that you really want to achieve and you stick to them. And listen, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, I'd love to help you. This is my goal, you know, I wake up every morning thinking, how can I add more value to other people? How can I help you? So if I can help you in any way whatsoever, give me a shout in the comments below. And again, if you've got any value from this video, please, please, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notifications, tell all your friends about it. I really, really sincerely appreciate it. And listen, I'll see you on the next video and I hope you enjoy this one. Take care. Bye-bye.